education. A comparison between public and private high schools and international and domestic tertiary education. Ooh, interesting. Blakehurst High School is a co-educational public high school located in Blakehurst, Sydney. The school has a special specialist language program. The school has approximately a thousand students with a large proportion of students from non-English speaking backgrounds. You can tell the school is not very well maintained from the rubbish and also the construction that seem to be going on. Catherine School is an independent Anglican day and boarding school for girls located in Waverley. The school has approximately 1,000 students from kindergarten to 12, including 70 boys. The school is the oldest independent girls school in Australia, having been established in 1856. The campus sits in two hectares of land with a mix of 19th century and modern buildings, gardens and views of the ocean. As you can tell from the photos, the school is well maintained and also offers a health care centre which helps students cope with things like study. It is obvious from the pictures that there is a discrepancy between private and public education. We have decided to interview two ex-students um, so, for both public and private education. Questions about your experience at a public school. Um, so firstly, we wanted to find out about what the teachers were like at your school and how they encouraged you in your learning. Uh, well, my school teachers did the bare minimum. Uh, they never really went out of their way to sort of help us. And once the once school hours finished, so did their responsibilities according to them. And Enoch, you, know, you went to a private school. Um, can you tell us about your experiences in comparison? Our teachers were really supportive, like after school hours, classes and holiday classes to help us. Interesting. Um, and one final question. We just wanted to find out about the co-curricular activities available at your school and whether you were sort of encouraged to participate in those or not. Uh, well, at our school, we just had one announcement made during the day about the extracurricular activities, and from then on in, it was up to the student to make the first move. Um, I think we weren't really encouraged to do it. We were sort of forced to do an extracurricular. So things like learning an instrument, every student had to do that, or join the choir, or debating public speaking, sports, things like that, everyone had to do something. Yeah. Now we will be exploring the differences in higher education in terms of domestic and international studies and who we have Jasmine and Kate. So I'll start with you Jasmine. Can you tell us about some of the differences in the education systems? Have you experienced both? The first one will be like, study here is more technologically advanced. We have uh, greater facilities um, we are encouraged to use them, and while studying at home is very technologically limited. The second one will be uh, we are encouraged to think and study critically, uh, to critically analyze, to create your own uh, perspective of something. Uh, while studying at home is just about memorizing, you are asked to uh, put in an exam what uh, what describes something and probably that's just memorizing and put it what the book just said so that will be here will be considered plagiarism while at home not. Thank you Jasmine. So after hearing that Kate can you tell us some of your experiences as domestic student? Yeah sure so there are a few um, pretty significant differences. I think the first one is that I've come to an institution which I'm very aware of the culture and, and the customs here. Um, being an Australian student, I sort of understand the way in which things operate and they run here. Uh, secondly, I have um, still have considerable support from my family and friends. I have those existing networks that um, can continue to help me um, as, I, as I make my way through my degree. Um, and then finally would be the support from the government that international students don't uh, receive. So that would be the government supported um, or reduced fees for my university courses, um, the ability to hex my university fees, um, and then also the ability to, um, to claim a Centrelink allowance or something along those lines to help me make my way through my education.